French colleagues and listeners, here we are, another podcast, and I've got a great, I've got a great guest today, and I'm anticipating a lot of fun as well, uh, probably at my expense. And the person I'm talking about now is Dr. Patricia Boulon, who's a coach and mentor uh, with regards and focus on high performance. And um, I'll just give a quick intro, Dr. Pat, as to the areas that you specialize in, and then I'll, I'll hand it over to you. So, superior wellness, mindset, mindset mastery, high performance productivity, and a confidence booster. Okay, so Dr. Pat, over to you. Lovely to have you on board. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, there's uh, so many times that, you know, we have in our life. And just so you know a little bit about me, I'm originally from the Midwest. I'll go back step just one. I'm originally from the Midwest and in the Midwest, we talk to everybody, you know, so I have that God blessing, no matter where I've traveled, whether I've been in Spain, Italy, France, no matter, um, Egypt, Dubai, you know, I've always had the opportunity to have really great interchanges with people. And it's always fascinated me how people in certain places have better health, you know, what they look like by their face, because what you eat, you wear on your face, how you're feeling, you wear on your face, what your, um, you know, how your, you know, your emotions, you know, um, and so it's just like, you know, that's why they always say, I always tell my clients, have a broad smile, it covers everything, you know, and then, you know, work on that. But it, it's always, you know, you can tell people who have confidence, you know, and have more confidence. You can tell how their energy presents when they're first in front of you. And yeah. you can also tell how, what their people's health are like, because they're in Chinese medicine. And I'm a Chinese medicine doctor also, besides being a chiropractor and also functional certified in functional medicine and lifestyle medicine and a whole list of things that make my father roll over in his grave because he thought I was never going to get out of school. Um, but all those things, you know, that, you know, I bring to that, I help people elevate and ignite their lives so that things that are holding them back, like emotional traumas that they've had in their life, um, bad diets, bad mindset, you know, um, I have helped them get that more concentric so that they can elevate and do their life even better and be right. more consistent with the results that they want to receive, you know, achieve. Right. Something you said that really resonates with me about you know, you you are what you look like, or you you, you know you 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 uh, you eat what's shown on your face, or people can read it. I just recently was going through duty free, and my wife wanted some Clarins, so she said, "Please get me this serum." I said, "Yeah, no problem." So I'm, I'm in the I'm in the duty free at the airport, having a great day, and I go up, and this lady, lovely lady, comes up to me. She said, "Can I help you, sir?" I said, "Yeah, no problem." So I said, "I need some Clarins." And um, she looked at me and I said, what are you she said, Is it, it must be for somebody else. I said, must be for somebody else. Why did you say that? And she said, because you're past saving, sir. I said, whoa, I said, that's the best sales pitch I've had. I said, thank you so much. That's really lifted me. <laughs> I said, let me go and have a look in the mirror. I had a look in the mirror. I said, yeah, you know something, you're probably right. But I said, yeah, it is for my wife. Now, I'm, I mean, you can probably see it yourself, right? I'm a craggy old fella, right? I've had a good, I've had a good life. Bit of a tough life, a lot of excitement, a lot of fun. What could you do for me? Wow. You know, I would love to take you on as a client, you know, yeah. a case study. Oh, my God, this would be so much fun. First off, you got a good sense of humor. So that's very helpful. And then you need secondly, a place like this. And, and secondly, you know, I teach these facial exercises that help people get a natural facelift without any, you know, any invasion of injections or surgery. And it's all natural and you just need your hands. And there's 15 muscles that I highlight in my program that attach to the skin. They go from the bone and they attach to the skin. And when those muscles lose the ability for the fascia, which wraps around them, because when the fascia is tight, you, the muscles are, it pulls you up naturally, you know, whether oh. it's in your face or in your body, because in any facial, any, excuse me, any um, exercise regime that's out there, you have to move and you have to be consistent doing it. And that also includes the face. But I teach these 15, 18 exercises that target those 15 muscles specifically. And I've have had people who have had absolutely mind blowing, incredible results in nine weeks. So I would right. love to do that because we would also address your food and types of foods that you like. You know, I've had people whose skin look very ruddy, very porous. Nine weeks later, they, it's smooth. 
It's amazing. Yeah. It's been absolutely my for me. I keep on my mouth keeps on dropping when I'm looking at their post pictures and then helping them see like, wow, look how much change that you actually made. You know, oh. and then they're also feel better, move better, think better. They're making better decisions. You know, so you know, and you know that's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And then when you're in that position, you can make better financial decisions. And we all would love to make better financial decisions. Oh yes, yes. But I, I, I start with getting my face sorted out. I've got dodgy knee. I've got two dodgy ankles, all from sports breaks, mm -hmm. arthritis, and stuff. So I, I might take you up on that challenge. At least if you can do something about the face, my, my missus will be happy. So I, I can, and I would love to have a man in my course. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll be the first one. But now, now I, I'm, I was going to say on a serious note because it's talking about me, but it is serious. But, but you know, our industry, our industry goes through ups and downs, and there's been a lot of a lot of wealth of experience has left the industry. People are quite stressed. You know, there's there's not so much training or not as much competence endorsement as there used to be. There's training as such. Um, but, you know, people are under a lot of stress and everything. And I always believe you've got to have a little bit of humour about everything. Otherwise, it just gets too dark and too deep and it, mm -hmm. it causes more problems than anything else. So what what would you what would you say are the areas that you could or if people listened to you or watched you or or, or learned from you that they would be better at as a result of what you do? They would make better choices straight across the board in all aspects of their life. Because one of the things that we have control of, you know, seriously speaking, is what we put in our mouth. And so, you know, and, you know, in the ECU, you know, you have banned certain ingredients. In the United States, some of those banned ingredients are still being used on a daily basis and they're poisoning people. So when you, when somebody eats well, because the gut brain connection is huge, the gut face connection is huge. When you eat well, you automatically start thinking better you oddly have more energy where you're thinking like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to go exercise today. I think, I, I think I'm just going to stay home, you know, and, you know, and then that one day turns into the next day and, and the such. So, but instead when you're eating well and you have that energy, you're thinking, I got to go burn it off. It's like, if you have, you know, an English bull terrier who are, you know, they're zoomy, you know, a specialist, right. Round and round the corner. I used to have them, you know, that's why I speak to them. It's just like, I had to walk them like two times a day at 45 minutes, you know, and I, and, and they still weren't, you know, like they still had tons of energy. So I bought them backpacks and put frozen water in the backpacks to weigh them down. You know? And so, and doing those 45 minute walks, we are the same way, you know, and something that people highly forget is that the first year of their life, all they did is exercise everything that they did even during sleep was all about exercise. Pick your head up, turn your head to the side, try to roll over, try to roll over. It's exercising all those muscles because you had to get those muscles strong in order to be able to pick your head up, eventually pick your, push your upper torso up, get on your knees, eventually climb up. So you're standing on your feet and it happens that for a specific reason that way, so that you have more structural stability going forward. But what you eat, you know, and exercise are the first two pillars that I help people with and teach people with. Cause there's certain things that, you know, some people hate to walk, you know, like, well, get on a bike. You know, there's other, ch there's other choices to be able to do that. Yeah, and then, yeah. the, and people are sleep deprived. So when people are sleep deprived, they actually have the same behaviors if they're drunk sometimes. And most accidents are like, statistically speaking are cause of, from people, you know, failing to be driving alert, and restful. So there's a lot of people around this day and time that lack sleep. So in the aviation department, I would think that's a huge thing to want to conquer. You know? Yeah, no, um, no, you're right. Yeah, right? because people working on the ramp, people working with heavy equipment, and that's exactly why I wanted to speak to you because safety and accidents, and you know, having responsibility for not just yourself but everybody to the left and to the right, in front and behind you, is so critical these days. So. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I can see. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I can see how it all links, and uh, and it makes sense. And I, I'm probably the worst. I, I I I don't eat as well as I should do by by mm -hmm. no means. Uh, and as long as you're able to do something for me that still allows me to eat baked beans, I'll be happy. Well, you know, it's it's actually really quite easy. You know, in my program, um, there's a woman I'm thinking of specifically right now um, who wasn't consistent with doing the exercises, but we still saw results. You know, she's going, oh, there's definitely no results, you know, 
what was the big result for her was because she turned and I have a very specific two week plan that I, that boosts that experience for the face. And when we boost that experience for the face, when we took pictures of her and we did a side view, she no longer had a gut. Like her, her gut was like, you could see it in the first t-shirt and she wore the exact same t-shirt again for the second um, picture. And the, it was actually hanging on her. And she goes, oh my God, I didn't realize. I said, go take another picture. So we have colored one so that we can see it better. And she was, she was absolutely astounded. And she goes, I wasn't, you know, completely true to the diet. She said, but I followed those suggestions. She had, her face wasn't so puffy. She could start to see her jawline, you know, things that when people look at you, you know, they recognize and they go like, you know, well, that person takes really good care of themselves, you know? And so, you know, it's just like, it was like, that was a big, um, surprise for her. And that was a big present from the universe for her following some rules, not necessarily all, because I'm always telling people, you know, you got a bad day, start, you know, don't get down on yourself, like stop beating yourself up and just say, okay, that didn't work out next day. I'm going to start anew. You know, yeah. you, screw, you screw up a, a, your food, just say, okay, I've get, you know, I just like my next, diet, my next food I put in my mouth is going to be the correct food, you know, and if you keep on doing that, then you're talking to the right brain, you know, and it quells the primitive brain or the, what I call the lizard brain. It's always telling you, it's okay. You can have that extra chocolate pie, you know, too. like, you got to get that guy off your shoulder, you know, and, you know, focus on like, you know, when I eat well. And the question is, instead of doing an affirmation, I always eat well, because usually we lie to ourselves because we had pizza last week. You yeah. know, we can say, why is it that I am so attracted to great food? You know, yeah. why is it that health matters to me? You know, and then your mammalian brain, the middle part that has all your emotions, all your experiences, all stored in one little place, go like, oh, I know why. And it starts to give you those answers so that when you think about that type of thing, like what should I eat, you're going to gravitate towards, you know, like lean meats or lean, you know, like nice fish and nice salads types, types of things instead of like, you know, like chips and that type of thing. So yep. Right. You know, and it's just like, and if you start grabbing that mindset and anchoring it, then your conscious brain can help support that by saying affirmations like I am healthy, vital, active, successful human being, you know, on this day, I'm going to eat well, think well, and do well, you know, for myself and all humanity. Radiant mm. energy flows through me. Okay. So how, what, you got little tricks, little checklists, little menus? I do. I yeah. do. First, you know, I have, you know, I have like, what I do is I work with people in their specific food groups, you know, like, tell me what you'd like, you're de never going to eat, you know, or tell me what, you know, like you have a really hard time staying away from. And if it's sweets, I have a trade secret that I always do. It's just like, when you feel like that, do this 30 minutes later, do this. You know, and if you do that, it's like, like there's simple things. It's not mind boggling. And, um, and it's all in like, you know, simple English. And so do this, do this. And then, you know, and when you're consistent with doing that, you end up getting really good results. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And, and, and on, on the, uh, on the menu and the food. So you've got specific menus and because the thing is, you know, when somebody gets a little bit of self-reflection and then you, you, you Google something and then it goes into this long diatribe about, it tells you this huge story and you think, oh, for God's sake, stop it. Yeah. Shut up. You know, I just I'm... want to get to it. Give me a menu. Give me this. Give me that. And it takes so long to get into it. It, it, it puts people off. It's, it's exhausting. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact. So I'm much more simplified than that. You know, it's just like I just look at, um, you know, to like funnel that down and make it simple. I just say like, okay, because in the um, specific, you know, Mediterranean style diet that I designed, yeah. I just tell people just like, if you eat like this, you don't have to count anything. You don't have to, you know, you might want to know portion sizes better, you know, but you it's like, okay, so if I can have, if I need to focus on this, you know, and I also tell people, you know, here's a trade secret and a pro tip. I always tell people don't eat any fruit the first 30 days because I want your body to rely on more nutrient dense um, foods like vegetables, you know, well, yeah. so I always say vegetables over you know, vegetables over fruit and also make sure you all, your meats are always lean. And then you just yeah. kind of want to want to proportion size it, you know, out so that, you know, you're not eating. So your in between meals, you know, are really simple snacks 
that are a complete protein. So your body doesn't think, oh, I, I now need fat, you know, or else I need sal something salty, or I need, you know, uh, I think I need more carbohydrates. Even though if yeah. you don't think about that in that realm, but it's just like, it's really simplified, you know, and I work with people, you know, um, I have, uh, I've designed food plans for people based upon that one premise is like, tell me what you will do. And then we'll do more of what you will do. But I have to have you avoid certain foods for a certain length of time, like out of their diet, if it doesn't, you know, if it's not in the United States, the way grocery stores are shut up, I always tell people shop only on the outside. And the only time you go down those aisles, if you need something like toilet paper, you know, other than that, you're not buying any of it, you know? And so, and it's, and it's really, it's really super, super simple. You don't have to give up coffee. You can have a glass of wine every once in a while, you know, yeah. so you don't, you, you know, and the idea is for the wine to be a compliment and to be part of a triangle of what I say that has to be, has to exist in place in order for that to work for you. And if you're consistent with it, throw in a little exercise in, and I also help people get better sleep. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and like how to shut the brain off, you know, to when you're thinking like, oh, I forgot to do this. Well, get up and do it. I mean, just yeah. get over yeah. yourself, get up and do it. And then write yourself a note. If you can't do it, then just write yourself, you know, um, you know, like hashtags, you know, like people do today, write the hashtags. And then, you know, then you'll have that list next to your bed, you know, the next yeah. morning you get up and I'm sure it will jostle your brain. So you it like, so that you remember those things, but those are just, and it's, it's fun things. I mean, I love to do good. I like to have fun and I love to see people thrive. That makes my heart sing. And so when, you know, I have those, like when people have those aha moments, yeah, it's beautiful. I would just like, I, I should have my finger on screenshots all the time because when I have that and people go like, well, you're like Dr. Pat, this, you know, so if you add that into like, how can I do my facial exercises, you know, and, you know, I've had people even have the, the hump that people you see on people's backs yeah, yeah, yeah. gone in nine weeks. Um, really? and, and someone said to me, I didn't come here for that. But my daughter, you know, they're at the beach and she always wears her hair down because she's tr always trying to hide at this particular client. And she said, so she pulled her hair back and her daughter, who's a massage therapist, who would notice something like that, came up to her and said, mom, the hump's gone. And she goes, what are you talking about? She goes, the hump on the back of your neck. She goes, and I put my hand back to touch it. And sure enough, it was gone. My daughter, my daughter-in-law took a picture. And that, and I didn't even like, I, I know that you said that must, this muscle here is attached to back here, you know, and when you exercise your neck muscles, you're not just exercising specific muscles, you're generally exercising the whole head. And when you can do that correctly, you know, and it's only four exercises per each, you know, four repeats four times for each exercise. So, and they're delivered two a week so it isn't overwhelming like all of a sudden like you said when you're looking at something like oh my god this is so like i can't do this you know it's really like dished out very bite-sized pieces so that each week you can do a little bit more and they only take 15 minutes to do when you learn them all okay well well okay so i'm very no <clears throat> i mean joke is i normally poo poo all this month you know my wife's always telling me you should eat this, eat this. And I say, yeah, yeah. And I do it because she's a great cook and, and she loves to look after us all. Um, but if I, I must admit, I'm a, I'm a pretty weak man. You know what I mean? If I see something that I really like, I'll woof it down. I drink too much. I do mm -hmm. the wrong things. I've done the wrong things all my life. So it's a matter of do I still need to do any changes before before the old uh, the big fella upstairs knocks on my door? Or do I just put up with, you know, going the way I'm going gracefully? And um, well, I have to decide. How would it be for you if you had less pain in your knees, for instance, and or your that's back? What, that's what interests me, Dr. Pat. So if you can you know, do it for if, me. If you eat certain foods, create more inflammation in your body. So what we would do is we'd look at yeah, how well you're handling toxins in your environment. Yeah. And then we'd also take a look at, you know, how your gut's functioning. And so then what we would do is we would correct the, the gut functioning portion of it, you know, so that when your body is getting rid of toxins, they no longer recycle and get stored in blood, brain, bone, and fat. They would end up in the toilet where they're supposed to. And so you fix the gut so that when the liver does its job of detoxification, it sends those toxins and those poisons out and it gets them into your intestinal tract. Or if they're small enough, they go to the kidney and bladder and then the toilet that way. 
you know, that they can leave your body the way that they're supposed to. It's like, ciao, goodbye, <laughs> you know, goodbye. adios, you know, it's just oh, like, what? you're not welcome here anymore. And so if, if you can do those just little things like that, and you start feeling better in a very short period of time, I've had people who've had incredibly high scores on my, what I call my MDQ assessment. It's science-based um, and when I look at people's scores, sometimes I've had someone come down from a hundred, their score was 118, which is like way, way out there. You know, after I tell people to do, we need to tonify the, the liver's um, job as a detoxifier, you know, at the number 10, <laughs> you know, so 118 is like way out in Timbuktu. And so I've had people who went from there down to 29. Okay. You know, and, and we're also not aware, like sometimes of our signs and symptoms when they start changing, because we look in the mirror, we see our face every day, we see our bodies every day. So, um, you know, when you start putting on clothes that just kind of fit a little bit better, when you start thinking like, wow, my back hasn't really bothered me, you know, in X, Y, and Z amount of days, you know, and I, you know, it's just because even if I see my chiropractor, I still have stuff going on. You know, so what is it that makes that happen? And the things that we have control of is what goes in our mouth and what we think, right? right. <laughs> you know, and then we can move on me. to that. You've got me. All right. So offline, I'm going to ask you a few questions and see what we can do together. And I think we'll definitely invite you back on. Um, but I, I'll have a chat with you offline. Thank you so much for the introduction. Thank you for making me feel that it's never too late. And um, if, if if my family and friends watch it, then uh, they'll they'll probably write me a list of the things that I need to address, and then I'll, <laughs> dad, I'll send to you and see what we can do. But thank God you so so much, really <laughs> appreciate so much. it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. That's our pleasure.